Yeah, hi. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your late night AEW Dynamite review. Grab your Coca Cola's and drink it magnificently there. Pour it on the nice styles glass, wine glass, or whatever fuck drink it magnificently there. Make sure it's not woke though. People say you should boycott Coca Cola, but for God's sakes, you know, as long as you're not woke and you drink it on the woke, not wokenly, and you're awoken to the truth, then. It's all good. Oh shit, oh shit, cheers. I forgot it says, come on, people. So what? If if they fucking do some stupid woke shit, eventually everything's gonna get woke. You know what I mean? Everything is gonna fucking watch. Pepsi's gonna be woke. Everything in society's gonna get woke. So what we're gonna eat our drinks. So if you people, people complain about stupid shit, you know? So. And besides, Coca Cola is a better tasting drink. Let's be fucking honest here. Alright. So apparently, next Friday, AEW will be going uh, uh, will be going live instead of Wednesdays, I'm guessing, because of NBA playoffs. Um, so, but here's the thing instead of going to straight to, just head to head to SmackDown, they're going to be after SmackDown. So, you know, yeah, so much for the Friday Night Wars. But it's Friday Night Wrestling next week, because, oh, man, two shows. But then there's going to be a show. So I'm guessing we're going to get a little taste of AEW on Friday nights. So I guess next week's the start of the Friday Night Wrestling shit, where AEW and, Fr and WWE are going to have Friday night shows. And, ugh, one is enough, for God's sake, seriously. <sighs> Fucking <laughs> I'm probably not even gonna watch for who cares. Um So the show started with Christian defeating Matt Seidel, aka fucking uh what's his name? Little Evan Bourne. What's the story for this match besides we used to be in WWE and we let's have a good match. What is it fucking because fucking Evan Bourne did a shooting star press to him at WrestleMania? Unless they brought I don't know, but uh Whatever. There's no reason for it. It's just retarded. So the first match, Christian Cage defeats him. Uh, they shake hands. They did the Ring of Honor shit. We gotta honor each other. We gotta shake hands. And then fucking Team Taz basically gets angry. Uh, then Team Taz attacks them. One guy with a vest. Apparently that's his son. And I'm just thinking to myself, what? Can you? If he's gonna be a wrestler, wouldn't it make sense you introduce him, make him like a? I don't know. If he's gonna be a you know, a participant of this fucking shit storyline. I mean, I'm not trying to hate the guy. You know, he's a beginner, but whatever. And I'm surprised, like, uh, he has a white... Because uh, here's the thing. Okay, I get it. Apparently, Taz is white. But he looked kind of black to me. Just saying, you know? Okay, maybe a little bit tan. Or whatever the fuck. Second match. John Moxley and Eddie Clearston defeated the Acclaimed. The Acclaimed by a bunch of queers as well. They can't rap for shit. They basically take John Cena's character and shit like that. But oh wow, John Moxley and Queerston, they have a new they have basically a redo of the Wild Thing song, which is like a girl singing. Great. Yeah, just take more copyright songs, Cortland Khan. But see it's not copyright because a woman's singing it. And it sounds like shit. Uh then fucking we got some I I don't even know, some video packages and shit like that, I don't care. Eaton Page and Scorpio Sky take credit for taking out Sting and playing the part, playing a part in Darby Alley losing, Allen, losing that TNT title to Miro. Basically, fucking one of them says, "Oh, I'm, I always used to be a Sting fan, but now I became myself." Well, guess what? You're nothing because you're a fucking retarded, have no character. Who the fuck cares? So then Sting and Darby came out and they attacked them, and this leads to being a match announced that double or nothing. Uh, freaking Sting will have his actual live match in the first time in years so whatever let's hope he doesn't die then Hakamu Shida defeats Rebel who is like fucking Britt Baker's assistant then after match Britt Baker curb stomps Shida so they she yeah what's with these wrestlers using other wrestlers moves just saying you know she curb stomps her yeah, she takes Seth Rollins' move, curb stomps her to the fucking title, and, and 
pose with it. Whoop de doo, who cares? Um, then, yeah, so, we get some Orange Cassidy, Kenny Omega shit from last week. We're supposed to be, I don't know, something about last week. We're supposed to be his last week, whatever. So, Kenny Omega basically confronted Orange Cassidy saying that, you know, we need you to be the mascot. Or something. And no one freaking cares. Uh, I don't know, this is some shit about... Uh, <sighs> So they try to get Darby out, not Darby, fucking Orange Cassidy to sign a contract, take them out of the world title match. And then OC rips off, I hate to call him OC, rips off the contract slowly. Don reveals he made a second copy, tells Orange Cassidy to think of his family. Kenny warns Orange Cassidy that if he chooses to compete at double nothing, he won't uh, hold back against him. I... I can't believe... I just think it's stupid, really. The Orange Cassidy is having a fucking world title match at a pay-per-view. Along with Pac. Who the fuck cares about Pac? Neville is a fucking midget. Who gives a shit? And he just takes X-Pac's name. But it's Pac! You gotta respect him. Fuck off. I don't give a shit. Yeah, Mighty Mouse versus a fucking... Queer version of Santino. A fucking joke. Versus the one of the biggest queers of them all. Kenny Omega. Great. And that's the world title match, by the way. This is literally like a fucking main event match of superstars, for fuck's sakes. Really? This is the main event? I mean, I don't think this is a main event. But this is literally the world title match for your fucking company. I don't know what to tell you. Apparently, this is a triple threat now because uh, apparently Orange Cassidy was supposed to just be a one-on-one -on -one match. But because he got knocked out, they decided to turn this into a triple threat because of that. That's why the stupid finish from last week. And as I think to myself, what a fucking joke. I don't know what to tell you. The Inner Circle agrees to MGF's stipulation for the stadium stampede match with double or nothing. That's really all to really say. Like, didn't they accept this last week? Or whatever. I don't know. Some stupid shit. Um... Yeah, so they accept, they said that you didn't kill us and we're still breathing, whatever. Okay, I don't really care much. I don't, I don't know, something, I, I, there's not listed here. I don't know why they don't exactly list everything here. This is from the 434 Facebook. I'm looking at the pictures and shit like that, which makes it easier to do reviews. If you wonder why I do my reviews nowadays, I literally can't take notes. I don't want to. I, I can't, I don't even pay attention to this. I was just happy that the show was over. I was doing other shit. Um, the Pinnacle were having a fucking dinner, and I just like what, are, like what, like what are you trying to accomplish? And literally, well, I'm guessing like again, they're just literally the same as the Inner Circle, but they're the bad guys or whatever. Who cares? Serena, the Via Red Velvet from Young Mama's Kitchen. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, that's just so corny. Why is AEW trying to be corny with their, from your mama's kitchen, from whatever, from like, can you go fuck yourself or go back to your fucking ball, or go back to your fucking parents' balls or testicles, please? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Serena is, uh, is Serena from the straight of society. She looks, even with hair, she looks stupid. She looks worse. She looks like she's wearing a fucking wig. Seriously. I like it, and I, I'm telling y'all, don't shave your fucking head. It's a darn shame she shaved her head back in the straight society, because now she can't even grow good hair. I'm telling y'all, motherfuckers, don't, if you're a woman, don't ever think about shaving your fucking hair, because it's just going to make your hair worse. Only dudes can do it. Men can always do things better. Just saying. For fucking A. Um, Auntie Argorgo defeats Austin Gunn, who's apparently the son of Billy Gunn. We're supposed to care about this guy for some reason. Even though he's just a jobber. But he's from the Nightmare or something. I don't fucking care. It's a little sense between the teams or something. Because apparently, yeah, that's QT Marshall there. He's the leader of the other shit group. They break up for some reason. Even though no one knows who the fuck this, what they were. Who the fuck is the Nightmare family? Who the fuck is the collection? Where the fuck you guys are? Where the fuck is... Who cares? What are you doing? Oh, but it's long-term storytelling. What long-term storytelling when nobody knows the fuck this is or what the fuck 
is this supposed to accomplish? What are you doing? What are you talking about? Miro A.K. Rusev celebrate his TNT title win. Fans chant dark. Okay, I hate the fucking fan. I mean, not it's not the fans. It's literally the wrestlers. They're a bunch of fucking smarks. Seriously. And they're chanting for Darby. Aren't y'all supposed to be professional? I don't fucking know. Act like actual fans or something. Don't act like fucking retarded smarks. I'm telling you, the smarks are in the business. And that doesn't help the fact that literally these fucking annoying ass fucking wrestlers, they're singing to fuck the theme song. Are y'all adults or not? They're saying to shit theme songs like fucking oh, Judas, oh, Judas said my mind. And we're seeing your stupid fucking gay faces. <laughs> Can you shut up? Oh wow. They're saying the fucking theme songs. They're just making it more worse and just ru ruining the segment. Like who the fuck cares? Can y'all shut the fuck up and just fucking just be there and act like nice and just do your stupid cheers and boos? Actually act like the fucking fans? Don't be like re retards. God. Fucking A. He mocks Darby, um, and then for some reason he decides that he's gonna have an open hand to lose tonight. Why is every fucking wrestler doing open challenges? Really? Every fucking wrestler, when they have a world championship, and this is not WWE, this is not WWE's fault. Apparently, and they're doing the same shit in fucking. AEW, what happened to wrestling? Why does every fucking wrestler want to have an open challenge? Fucking A. Open your assholes and go fuck yourself, please, God Almighty. Then Lance Archer comes out because they're gonna have a fucking title match at fucking uh, the pay per view, and for some reason they're fighting for some reason. There's no story, but whatever. Lance Archer comes out, and Archer says he's gonna put Miro in the ground and makes him his Bulgarian bitch. I see, he said bitch, uh -huh. and takes the TNT, and it's gonna take the TNT title. Whoopie do, who cares? Sting versus Derby is announced versus uh, Ethan Page and Scorpio Sky. It's official. A special night, start time and night. AW Friday Night Dynamite is gonna happen next Friday. So that's definitely the reason why they're gonna move. They're gonna move to TBS and whatever the fuck. But it's not gonna be on the same night as SmackDown. Well, who cares? Whatever. Um. The Young Bucks defeat the Varsity Blondes. Oh yeah, fucking when the show opened or something. I don't know. During the during the show, I didn't see. Um, the Varsity Blondes cut a, a promo. Um, yeah. So it's like the one of the guys is Brian Pillman Jr. We're supposed to be ca to care because it's Brian Pillman's son. I mean, he has some promise. I guess they didn't cut like a cringy ass promo. But it's like, what's the reason for this match? You know what I mean? Oh, because of the s score system. You're not a sport. Where's the storylines and characters, for fuck's sakes? I'm just also thinking myself, what the fuck's the character Brian Pillman Jr.? Oh, give him the loose cannon gimmick. Like, shut up. Apparently, yeah, like his promo, he's not bad, I guess. And also, but, you know, just I really don't care. Basically said, like, you know... Uh, because of the dark side of the ring, that kept me away from wrestling. That's why I joined because of the Young Bucks. Like, really, the Young Bucks are the reason why you're in the fucking business? And fucking the other dude, he's like, Oh, you know, I was the, I was working with merchandise, and then they brought me... Like, really? This is a... That's the fake... No one knows the fucking story. You're, you're just making shit up. Or you're just bringing up shit to make people pretend to care. That's bullshit. How about establish something on the show? Whatever happened to wrestling shows where you establish something on a show to lead to what's going on? You don't see TV shows saying, you know, you know, the actors, they're saying, you know, I remember this guy hiring me to be part of this wrestling show or something like that. And then I'm going to have this match because I didn't like his fucking, fucking opinions or decisions that he made on the show. That's why I'm going to fight him. That's retarded. You know how retarded it is? Again, pro wrestling is supposed to be like a TV show. It's fake. I know you fuckers like to say it's not fake. Well, motherfuckers, it's supposed to make sense. The story, shit like that. It's supposed to be like a movie. Okay? TV shows. This is just retarded. So they defeated the Varsity Blondes, the Young Bucks. I couldn't give a shit about this match. I just couldn't. All I know is that fucking Brian Pillman Jr. got sprayed with something, and I don't care. I mean, God bless the dude. I feel bad for what happened to him about Brian Pillman. I hope for the best. I hope they actually do something, maybe, because at least he has the name, right? Maybe do something. And, he, and I did feel bad for him about the stuff from the Dark Side of the Ring shit, so. But it's official. But then after the match, 
fucking Ambrose. Oh, Moxley. You guys said Ambrose. Moxley, fuck you. Moxley and fucking Queerston Gate came out. They just didn't fuck all. They could. I thought they're supposed to be loose cannons themselves. They uh, they didn't even attack them. Like I don't know. Fucking they're waiting to attack the young bucks, but then fucking they just let the fucking Don Callis run or the other dudes, and they just had a stupid gay face off the young bucks, and they attacked them, and they stole their shoes, cause that's so gangster. Yeah, that's fucking yeah. They took smelly shoes. What are you gonna do? You're gonna have to. Are you guys? You guys have foot fetish? What the fuck y'all doing? Really? They stole their shoes. That's apparently funny. That's apparently not. Not. It's just gay. It's gay. There's no reason. Like, why their shoes? What they want with their shoes? But well, we gangster, bro. We from the Yonkers. Yeah, you, yeah, can't, yeah, guess what, Kirsten? You look like a motherfucking old grandpa who tried to fucking steal shit from a bodega but failed. Because you're such a fucking weirdo. You're a fucking fat ass. You're a fucking retard, okay? You suck. You're a fucking, you look like an old grandpa, and then you, and for some reason you apparently cut good promos because you scream and say bitch or something. You suck. But fuck, for fuck's sake, Smarks think he's good for some reason. Because he, he cut, he, he was shooting a promo and he mentioned stupid shit that Smarks pretend to care about. Because apparently he's a great promo guy. Like, fuck off, you know? I don't know what to say. I'm just, I'm tired. I, uh, uh I just think the show sucks. This ain't good at all. I guess, you know, cool, Wednesdays, there's no wrestling. But there's gonna be Friday, ugh. One just bad show is bad enough. Come on, now we gotta get shit. But it's like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. They know they're gonna get they're gonna get destroyed by SmackDown. That's why they're not even the same time even for next week. But whatever, I don't care. Um, so next week is Friday Night Wrestling shit, or it's not even a war, but it's just too much wrestling. Girl, I don't like it. And fuck the smarts that pretend this show is good. This show is not good at all. Bunch of nerdy gay horse shit. Uh, I don't know what to really say. I'm just tired, and I just think this show is shit. You wonder why you're going to TBS? Because nobody gives a fuck about T uh, fucking AEW and TNT. Alright, just keep real, motherfuckers. Get your fucking gains. Get your muscle shit and abs. Get your big black couch. Your puff, fuck your bitch. Fuck your bitch. The sun is fast, fast, so magnificent, man. Cheers. <laughs> don't be a queer. Don't steal fucking shoes unless you're fucking queer, because that's what they're probably doing. Like, y'all really gonna fucking wear a fucking shoe after some gay dudes? Man, have some S A. It must have some fucking sexually transmitted disease. Come on, for real. Look at the young bucks are ye. They probably have some AIDS. You'll, you'll die wearing it. But you know what? Like, what? What's the world's loss, you know? Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention the fucking stupid claim. They're cutting stupid. They're trying to rap. They mentioned Renee Young and shit like that. Like, who the fuck cares? Y'all y'all can't fucking rap for shit. And y'all gay, too. Yeah, literally, apparently, they're gay. Why do you guys have so many gay wrestlers, for God's sake? Where the fuck the men at, for God's sake? And where the women? And by the way, if you want ratings, actually have the women do hot shit, too. And stop fucking having too many Japanese cunts and shit like that. And so many gay vanilla dudes. I don't fucking know what to say. All right, I'm, I'm done. I'm tired. Till next time. Peace. Yeah, bye. Fucking A. Friday Night War or whatever the fuck next week, and who cares? I die for nothing. It's just double fucking ash, for God's sakes. Fuck, fuck double nothing.